Hello there guys, how are you? It's me here, Zinti. I hope that you are good. I hope that you are fine. I'm also fine despite the chilly chilly weather here in Nairobi city. Yeah, but apart from that, we are all good. We are all fine and that I thank God for that. So guys, if you're coming back to my channel, thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for always taking your time to watch my videos. I truly appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much also for taking your time to click through this video and i do welcome here officially on my channel i hope that um you will be coming back and back and back again right yeah Is it? yeah so i hope that you'll be coming uh here as much as you want and guys if you have subscribed to this channel thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't kindly please consider subscribing just click that subscribe button ring the bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified of what i will have uploaded and welcome so much guys today to today's video it's a reaction video so um, today i just want to talk about uh relationships but most uh mostly let's talk about um okay we have make make we have uh Vivian Traveler and Diana Kemi, but let's start with Mick Mick. So, guys, uh, we all know Mick Mick. Oh, sorry for that. For this, uh, for saying that we all know because I'm sure maybe somebody's watching me for the very first time, or maybe somebody's coming across the name Mick Mick for the first time. But, um, okay, Mick Mick, uh, she goes by her channel name is Vlog with Mick. Yeah, so, but I, I know that most of you who watch me, you also watch uh, Vlog with Mick, you watch the Virginia Yamarwa, those other guys from Nyabohanzi. So, <clears throat> the relationship between Mick, that is Vlog with Mick or Mick Mick, and the Virginia, that is the boyfriend, I will say, um, I won't talk so much. I don't want to go into details of the relationship because I'm sure the two of them, uh, they are the ones who truly understand what they have. But I would just say the relationship is kind of, I don't know, it's not so vivid, like it's not so transparent. But that's just my opinion and the opinion of some of the few people who are of like-minded. But, um that's not what i want to talk about today like uh i go into details of the romantic relationship that Meg has with debbie jr i just want to talk about um the views of Mick Mick. that is the views that she sh she shared in a certain video now i'm watching this youtuber she was interviewing uh Mick Mick. And then he happened to ask about um, if Mick Mick can give an advice on relationship, maybe dating and stuff like that. Though the guy also asked Mick Mick about uh, marriage. Mm, I don't know why he did that because Mick is not married. So how can she know about uh, stuff related to marriage? Like, you know, sometimes when you talk about uh, an experience that you've had is much easier than when you just talk about what you have maybe perceived uh, from what the other people do so basically this guy she was inquiring about mick mix relationship with the david Jr. You know, and how maybe uh what someone should consider before getting into a relationship and uh this is what Mick Mick says. I uh, said sorry. So let's watch her first, and then I'll give my opinion later on what she said. I don't know if I'm wrong to ask you about your relationship, maybe. About my relationship? Yeah. Um, uh, if it's something I can answer. Yeah, I, I can. think. Yeah, I think it is something that you can answer. Mm, I heard that. You, I don't know if you were dating David Jr. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what you want to know, yes. Yeah. yeah. How how are you faring? Maybe for example mm -hmm. I might be looking a wife or I want to date. What can you advise me about the relationship? Uh before you start dating someone, 
uh, you must know that person for a while, like know how she is, like her characters, and yeah, like somebody you vibe with. Mm-hmm. Okay, how long do you take to know someone that to know that someone loves you or according to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine it can go even for a year. For a but year. if I vibe well with somebody, why not? So you can vibe you can take even one month, you're done. If if I then vibe you with get somebody, into marriage. Yeah. Uh, not into marriage. <laughs> I've not said that, guys. I've said maybe dating. Okay, okay. So, how long can you get to... How long can you be in a relationship mm-hmm. for you to get married? I can't talk about that because I'm not planning to be married anytime soon. <laughs> so, but maybe if I advise people out there, like, try and know uh, your partner before getting married for the longest time. Because these men always change, so try and I know you are a partner for the longest time. Yeah. So maybe. Because you can't just start staying with somebody and you don't know him. Yeah. Like you don't know what he likes or b- dislikes. Okay. Dislikes. <laughs> yeah, okay. So how long have you been dating? Maybe. Four to, four to three months. So you still have around six months. Not six. I'm still mm-hmm. a student. As I have six months to <laughs> to know him <laughs> because we said I already know him. That's why we started dating. Okay, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might come for the for the first day. Still, we can know each other. For the first day, like yes, how I'll, I'll know you that you are Miki and you know me that I'm Mita. You you know, then. I'm maybe, not talking maybe about as, that. Yeah, but you told me <laughs> like that. Like <laughs> knowing someone deeply. That's yeah, I but mean. you told me that you might know someone for around one year. Yeah, for a year. Yeah. That's the correct. But he, David the Jr., correct you time. knew him for four months. So you still because have around vibe, eight, eight months to uh, know I him better. I don't mean so, but uh, a good advice. Mm. Like what I, I tried to say, I just said that one year, like. But what I'm trying to say, before starting, you start dating someone, at least know him. You know. You, you have to know him mm-hmm. better. Yeah. So I have a question for you, Miki. Yeah. About it's question. about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the challenges you are going to face in this YouTube channel. I think I already answered that, but let me answer you again. You know everything has to So guys, according to Make Make, Mm. Before you date someone, you should maybe get to know this person for maybe a year. Then you can now start like dating. So that one year is supposed to be that the period that maybe you get to learn the dislikes, the likes, maybe the character of this person. Then maybe after a year, you can date that person. Alternatively, you don't have to wait for a year. Yeah, because uh, when she said that you have to wait for a year, the interviewer asked her, how long have you known David Jr.? And she said that um, she has known David Jr. Like they have been dat- dating for um, three to four months. So the guy was like, but you said a person has to, you need to know that pa- uh, the person that you want to date for maybe a year. Then she said, you can still date in less than a year if you guys have um, vibes, like if you are vibing with that person. And I saw, I went into the comment section. A lot of guys, like a very large percentage were asking, why is Mick Mick saying that you need to, if you vibe with someone, you can date that person even if you have known that person for less than a year and yet we don't see any vibes between make make and debbie junior but i don't know guys what do you think like i don't know like what what do you think about this whole of this whole issue of uh dating especially among the not just among the young because we still have all people who date yeah, because we have uh, some people, they're not young, 
but they are single for different reasons maybe the spouses are uh, passed away maybe um they separate and other reasons so like what do you think about this whole issue of dating because uh personally i don't think there is like a limited number uh, period where you can start dating like a person or maybe say you now know a person like seriously you can never know a person even if you live with that person there is no way you can like fully understand a person it's really really hard unless you share a heart maybe if, if you share a heart maybe that way you can get to say that uh this person i know him or i know her because one thing i know out uh is that um the more you stay with a person is the more you get to learn new things about this person that you stay with believe trust me you that character that sometimes you see in a person when you are dating is uh when you start living together you'll get to know that uh, there are some things that you never got to know when you are dating that person because maybe you are just spending maybe a few hours with that person so there is no way you can get to know a person during that dating period i've never even understood why why people say that you date to get to know a person because to me i don't think you can know a person when you're dating but that is just my opinion i don't know about you who is watching because for me i think when you stay with a person that is when you really get to know that person uh step by step because i'm sure that almost each and every time there is always something that always comes up both good and bad yeah like you, you may come to notice that oh so this person is really good at this i didn't know that or this person is really bad i didn't know that <laughs> like personally you know mm, i met my husband in the acting industry because i was an actor i was an actress she was an she was an actor and that is how we met that is how we met at an audition i had gone to audition at this uh acting group so it, it, it was a theater group at the cinema then that is where i met him and he was the one auditioning us so luckily enough for me i passed the audition i was um among the few who were chosen to act with that group but uh, i've always known that my husband loves uh, acting but i did know that he was good at like i came to know later on that he is also good at poetry something i never knew i just got to know uh, like stuff like spoken word i never knew he can be good at it but yeah actually it's just this year that i got to learn that oh, he's good at spoken word something i've never known you see and we've been together for 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 almost a decade yeah so you can imagine for almost a decade this is when i'm getting to know that he can that he is good at spoken word you know i he, like i knew he was good at acting and stuff like that skin writing but with spoken word that was a new one for me so as i said you can never like truly get to know a person unless you really live with this person because that is when you get to know the bad and the good the challenges yeah so i think uh, uh, as i say that is just my own thoughts but you can also share your thoughts in the comment section let us know like uh do you think a span of a year is enough to get to know a person or maybe uh was nick right in saying that uh if you see that you are vibing well with that person then you are good to go you can date that person like when is the real right time to start dating a person is it after a certain year or is it where after not seeing that the two of you vibe and again how do you know how can you really get to know that uh, this person you really vibe well with because you know when you are you when you've just met with a person that is when um there is that maybe character in you that pops out and another one remains in so it's really it's, it's really hard to get to know but anyway as you continue thinking on that concerning make make 
uh, let's also watch what uh, Diana Kemi's mom had to say about the relationship between Brian Fabella and the daughter that is Diana Kemi. Because, yeah, we all know about Diana Kemi. Diana Kemi, or if you don't know Diana Kemi, she's a YouTuber. And um, Brian Traveller, he's also a YouTuber from Brundian. But the two of them, they also happen to be in a relationship. Uh, it's not, an, like, they have been just at the start of this year. So they have not been into the relationship for so long. Yeah, it's, it's, it has not, it's not like an old relationship. But uh, there is a, a, at, a, at, a, at a point, Brian Traveller, they traveled with Diana Kemi to Brundian Traveller's home. That is in Brundi. And apparently, Diana's mom thought they were going for about uh, maybe four days or three days. Then they'll be back. But they went for almost a month. Then they came back. So Diana Kemi was really not happy about that. And um, towards the end of the video, she even said that when Diana Kemi came back, she didn't even hug her because she was not happy with the way she went for that long period and then when she was coming back she was coming back alone so she was like surprised where is this boy who took my girl like why is she why is she coming back home alone without her but um let me not talk too much let's watch diana kemi's mom and what she had to say to brundian traveler Today you have come for questions. Yes, we are yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I, think yeah? that, I think that's why I'm here. Mm. <laughs> but you have come when I am. My anger, what? My, is, is it my, uh, my anger? Your heart. Oh, your anger. Asina. Ah, your Asina anger. Asina your anger is finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted to just to... To keep quiet there until my anger is over. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? No, actually, mm, I just got it as I have to go, but I did not get a good time. Mm, that's why I did not come, not because of anger. No, maybe I was saying, like, let the anger go down and then I come. <laughs> Mm. Do, do you know you are? Um, what you did wrong? Mm. Mm. I I heard in the video, and then Akemi told me like eh, <laughs> you did not good, did good. So I was like, you know, maybe I will go and say sorry. Mm. Mm. That's why I decided today. Mm. Ah, let me go. And here, because also people were saying, telling me on the comment section, like, yeah, you was not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. Today you have done a good thing. Mm -hmm. You have come with the Diana. You know that day mm -hmm. I was in a. A very bad situation, but Diana mm. knew the situation. Then he, he, he came. She came to look for you. Mm, so, yeah. so she has she has come with me. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe the the first thing maybe uh, which was supposed to maybe to make you guys feel angry, maybe it's because I came, but uh, I did not meet you. Maybe like before, maybe I could come here and sleep at least once. Mm, but um, like we we are used to come, mm. stay for some time mm. before you go. Uh, but yeah. this time I just passed. Went hurriedly. Like mm. So my mother was furious. Mm. <laughs> she is not happy. Mm. Yeah. But uh, I am happy for the gift you you gave me. Mm. Your mother gave me. Mm. Thank you. Mm. The gift to me. Oh, good. And I was happy. Mm. Mm. Ah, yes, auntie. Mm. 
Kuna kitu ilibadilika kwa Diana. Diana. Mm. Eh, jabadilika. Mm. Sikukuwa naona. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Alikuwa ameanza kuwa mweusi kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini mu Afrika anafaa kuwa mweusi. Eh, mweusi. Mhm. Sasa kesi ile mweusi sana. Mm. Yaani ukicheka mimi ninaonyesha wewe. Ah ah, mweusi. Um ni mzuri kuna nchi nyingine mtu mweusi ndo wanatolea mahali mingi. Mm. Actually my question which I wanted to ask you. Mhm. Hiyo kwanza ndio hiyo the first question is that. Mm. When you came to to take Diana. Mhm. You told me you are just going only for few days like mm. Mm, three four days you come back mm. but you work uh, almost a month and a half mom huh? mom oh so guys i hope i'm still visible it's um it's almost seven over here that is where you can see the window looking the way it is though i'm using also uh the night mode so yeah <coughs> but you've heard then I came with mom. You know, one thing I like about this mom is that uh, she's really concerned about what the daughter is doing. You know, uh, we have some parents, especially in this age and era, that uh, they really don't care so much about what the kid is doing. Like, the, uh, some parents, it's like they have given children a lot of freedom. They can do whatever they want to do. They can go wherever they want to go. They come back at any time. You know, that's really wrong because this kid let's say maybe it's a teenager by the time they'll become young adults like maybe say in their late teens or early 20s they will be out of control yeah but uh anyway i like mother mom <laughs> i like uh diana kemi's mom because like she has that courage to tell her daughter that what you did was wrong and she oh, she has also acknowledged uh, she has also welcomed bt well in her house and also reminded him that what he did is wrong and that is how parents should do to their kids like be concerned about what your kid is doing and there's also something that she said that um you know to a parent you will always be a kid like it really doesn't matter how old you are and maybe that's why when people pass away even if they are 70 or 60, the parents will, or will always cry because, you know, the pain of a parent doesn't really, like, maybe change because you are old in age. Like, parents will always be concerned. Parents will always be parents. It doesn't matter whether your child is also a parent or maybe a grandparent, you know. It's really good to be concerned. And that's one thing. I say uh, Diana Kemi's mom really did. It was wonderful of her to get concerned about what the daughter was doing. And for BT and Travel also accepting the mistakes, also a good thing that he did also on his part. Like, you know, plus, you know, when you are dating or maybe in a relationship, when, uh, when you get to visit the parents of your partner, and then that person of yours does not come to visit maybe your family members it kind of it you know it kind of look like uh, maybe the relationship is one-sided but when you visit like uh the parent of your spouse or partner and then the other one also visits it makes you feel secure in that relationship like it makes you feel like you really matter you know like you matter like you are valued like you are receiving the same value that you are giving to that other person and like when uh let's say if et did not go to visit the anakemi's mom you know okay on camera we may not see it like maybe um the anakemi saying it but if that is if he had not gone to see the mom you know it will not have really looked so good plus nobody will have taken that relationship seriously like 
it will have been maybe just a joke online and even offline but the fact that he has made that step it really shows that she, that uh, he cares for the girl and well guys thank you so much for watching up to that point i truly appreciate your time and uh i think i'll stop there i, I, I don't want to talk so much i don't want the video to be so long so guys uh, maybe i just remind you to give the video a like uh subscribe if you haven't you can leave your comment in the comment section regarding um dating and vibing and whatever you whatever i've just talking about in this video and uh yeah see you in my next video guys bye bye it's good night so if you're in kenya or maybe in where we share the same time zone good night if it's morning where you are good morning if it's afternoon good afternoon good evening if it's evening yeah so see you in my next video bye bye